Four years ago, if you had told me that I would be standing on this stage as your side of president, I may have shaken my head and laughed very uncomfortably. Back when I first joined CIDA, and believe me, I was a reluctant participant at first, I didn't know where my CIDA experience would take me. My first year as a member truly opened my eyes. I didn't know just how much this association worked to advocate for its members, tour operators, suppliers, and the student travel industry as a whole, both domestically and around the world. I didn't know what it could do or offer me professionally, but I was curious and I got active. I joined committees, I networked, and I volunteered a lot. I raised my hand to say, I'm interested in learning and I'm interested in giving back. Fast forward a few years and I found myself raising my hand once again, but this time to fill a position that was vacated on the board of directors. It was now my turn to truly give back to help influence the direction of this great association in ways I never knew were possible. Two years ago, when I ran to be your site of president, I shared with you that it was my goal to ensure that each and every voice would be heard and that our best effort as an organization would be given to address the issues that you as members state were areas of concern. I assured you that current issues such as safety and security, as well as crisis communication and planning, would be at the forefront of the board if I was elected. Last year, I told you all a story about my middle son, Jagger. Most of you that were in this room yesterday got to meet him. You know where he got his beautiful hair from. <laughs> Jagger had just embarked on a six-week internship journey that took him through London, Paris, and Madrid, allowing him to work in various entities within the travel industry. I didn't know how this experience would affect him. This year, Jagger is entering his third year of college, now focusing his studies on global tourism and hospitality management. If all goes to my master plan, he will be the fourth consecutive generation of the Schuler family to work in the student travel industry. <laughs> this summer, again, as you know, Jagger is enjoying another internship opportunity right here at annual conference. Jagger, stand up. Everybody say hi to Jagger. I fulfilled my promise. I told him I would introduce you to everybody here, and I just did. <laughs> this year has been challenging, enlightening, stressful at times, and incredibly rewarding. I didn't know just how much I would grow both personally and professionally from this experience. I didn't know what I would learn by serving, especially where your current side of board of directors has led this association. I also didn't know the full extent of the passion each of you exudes every day for this industry. I didn't know how far we all would come. It gives me great pleasure to share that your side of board of directors accomplished such a tremendous amount over the last 12 months. We reevaluated the effectiveness of our consumer protection plan and are successfully launching the CSTO certification program at this year's conference. We tackled unexpected beat speed bumps pertaining to defaulting companies and worked to establish future protocols for such industry impacting disasters. We voted and approved our safety commitment this year. CIDA is and will continue to put the muscle behind our message. We are getting in front of the issues facing us all and taking a leadership position with more stringent and high quality standards, opportunities for certifications, providing a more robust education for our members and deeper, more relevant research. I didn't know just how hard the CIDA staff works for the sake of their members in this industry's combined success. This team is incredible and this year proved it tenfold. You see, aside from all the other issues we addressed, we took a big step forward and became a self-standing, self-managed entity. We successfully terminated our outside management contract and proactively took our future into our own hands. I am proud to say we officially are our own entity, acting and operating 100% for the benefit of our membership on our own terms. Making this move required negotiations of numerous contracts, retaining and hiring new staff, creating new structure, policies, and manuals, and moving offices, not once, but twice. Through all of this, your side of staff never skipped a beat. My time as president is coming to an end, but I cannot step aside without giving thanks to those that supported me throughout the process. Thank you to the side of Board of Trustees. Your partnership is paramount to this association. Thank you to the side of Board of Directors. 
Your dedication, fearlessness, vision, and effort have made our organization far stronger today than it has ever been. Thank you, CITA staff, Megan, Vanessa, Henry, Hazel, Becky, and Carol Ann. You guys are the rock stars. You're the ones that make the magic happen for this entire membership. And last but certainly not least, thank you to my coworkers at Group Travel Network. Hashtag my GTN family. Your willingness to step up is only overshadowed by the results you achieved. It's true. I don't know where I would personally be without this experience, but I surely know, don't know where GTN would be without each and every one of you. Thank you for taking care of my baby, but get ready. Trip Daddy's coming home. As we pass the gavel to your next president, I leave you with this. This association is our association. As you've heard me say over and over again today, you just don't know what you don't know. It is more important than ever to get involved. Until you raise your hand like I did and get involved, you'll never know what you're missing out on. The networking opportunities, the personal and professional growth, and industry partnerships are truly unparalleled. Get to know your leadership. But more importantly, let your leadership get to know you. Get involved. This association needs you. And you, and you, and maybe two or three of you over there. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to pass the gavel and introduce you to your new site of president from Advantage Tours, Ms. Orta Land. <laughs> 